Youth hockey is a tradition as big as Little League Baseball. Hockey roots start young with the boys and, yes, girls in our area. For parents, the first big step is to acquire the proper equipment. And folks, be prepared. Hockey gear will hit your wallet hard. today, right, Tom? Everything's free, right? <laughs> One thing's for certain, outfitting a youngster to play hockey isn't a cheap proposition, but when it comes to protecting your youngster, it's certainly worth the price. The longer he plays, the more I realize how dangerous it can be. The shots get harder and harder the older it gets, and I, you know, I'm concerned about his face and, and his protection, so, so we do invest quite a bit of money. <laughs> as far as uh, protection goes, um, it's minimal protection at the, the young ages, but we do insist that the boy has, um, um, you know, good skates and definitely good elbow protection. The credit card get a workout? Oh, absolutely. At least it was under 100 this time. I can't believe The biggest expense will be the hockey skates. By far and away, they're the most important investment the parents can make. Simply put, the better the brand of skate, the better your child will play. And of course, as the little ones grow, so do their feet, meaning skates are virtually an annual purchase. Money isn't the biggest demand, though, placed on parents with children taking up the game. Time is. Tomorrow, we'll examine the many hours spent on the way to the rink and in the coffee shop while the kids practice and play. We're Frontier, and here's Brian with parents and peewees. When parents start the process of getting their children into youth hockey, they might be surprised with the amount of time that has to be devoted to getting the young ones to the rink for practices and games. And in a lot of cases, not at the most convenient of times. Early morning practices are common. And once a growing hockey player falls in love with the game, moms and dads can spend an incredible amount of time as rink rats. I do very much so, because my husband is really unavailable to help out, so I'm always in the car running here and there. It's it's a problem. Uh, I can't say I'm happy all the time about it. All right, my turtle! Way to go! As in any sport, the parents get excited to see their child perform and long to see him or her do well. But some advice from the pros. Make sure it's enjoyable for the youngster and don't push them too hard. Most kids, their fathers are always telling them what to do. And, uh, you know, I think if they, if they, you know, guide them, but uh, don't uh, overrule them because... Uh, you know, they, they're going to rebel against, you know, their parents if, uh, if that's the case. Parents, be prepared to invest an awful lot of time as your youngster starts playing the game. There'll be those mornings when you're up at 6 o'clock to make it to the rink for practice. And, of course, countless trips to the hockey shop to pick up equipment. We're going to have fun today? Tomorrow okay, we'll take you inside worry. the locker room and onto the bench with the Pee Wee team at Saberland and show you how an entertaining right game with six and seven-year-olds can, at times, be more enjoyable than watching an NHL game. Brian Blessing. Ones get out there and have a good time in a hockey game. This is fun hockey. No brawling here, folks. They're just playing hockey. There's Amherst. Ian Perra getting a goal. This is the Amherst team against the Wheatfield Blades. And there's a goal by Ryan Norrott for Amherst. This was the Buffalo Select City Championship game. And Amherst won it 3-1. to one. The Wheatfield Blades get on the board here. B.O. in November.